The Centre for Alternative Technology (CAT) Welsh Canolfan Y Technoleg Amgen is an eco centre in Powys, Mid Wales, dedicated to demonstrating and teaching sustainable development. CAT, despite its name, no longer concentrates its efforts exclusively on alternative technology, but provides information on all aspects of sustainable living. It is open to visitors, offers postgraduate degrees as well as shorter residential and one-day courses, and publishes information on renewable energy, sustainable architecture, organic farming, gardening, and sustainable living. CAT also runs education programs for schools and sells environmentally friendly items through its on-site shop, restaurant and mail order department. History CAT was founded by businessman turned environmentalist Gerard Morgan Grenville, and opened in 1973 in the disused Lewingwern Slate Quarry near Mackinlith, once served by the narrow gauge Chorus Railway, where it occupies a 7 acre site. The organisation was originally known as the National Centre for Alternative Technology. CAT was previously aligned to the Urban Centre for Appropriate Technology UCAT, which was based in Bristol and has since evolved into the Centre for Sustainable Energy. <laughs> Visitor Centre In 1975 a permanent exhibition opened in order to generate wider interest. The 40-acre (160,000 square meters) site, with seven acres (28,000 square meters) of interactive displays, is the largest tourist attraction in the area. It is open all year except Christmas, seven days a week. It is a registered charity. The facilities and exhibits include. The Water Balanced Cat Funicular, the Centre for Alternative Technology Railway Solar, Hydropower and Wind Power A Low Energy House A site-wide electricity grid powered by renewable energy Displays of organic gardening methods A hydraulic ram pump Strawbale and rammed earth buildings Britain's largest green bookshop Vegetarian, vegan restaurant Events, activities and courses take place throughout the year and are advertised on the website and through Facebook and Twitter. Education <inaudible> 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 The Centre offers a range of courses which are between a day and a week in length. Some of these courses are offered to the general public while others are accredited courses for professional installers. CAT is involved with school education through training teachers, producing materials, and offering special tours and materials on site. The center includes a graduate school of the environment. It offers postgraduate courses in renewable energy, architecture, and environmental studies. The center has run a professional diploma in architecture course in advanced environmental and energy studies since 2008, which allows students to obtain an accredited Part II architectural qualification. Topic: <laughs> Wales Institute for Sustainable Education. In summer 2010, CAT inaugurated the Wales Institute for Sustainable Education WISE, a large educational building designed as a case study of sustainable architecture. The building contains a lecture theatre and accommodation and demonstrates ecological building principles such as passive solar building design and heat recovery ventilation as well as low-impact building materials such as wood, hemp, lime and rammed earth. 
The external walls of the building are made from 500 mm thick hempcrete, whereas the lecture theatre has 7.2 m high walls made from 320t of rammed earth. A building management system is used to monitor a wide variety of parameters inside the building, providing data for research projects by CATS Sustainable Architecture students. The building is used for teaching postgraduate degrees and short courses and is also available as a conference venue and exhibition space. In 2010, the WISE building was awarded the first place in the Daily Telegraph's list of Top 10 Buildings 2010 and came fourth in the Guardian's Top 10 list of buildings for 2010. It received a Royal Institute of British Architects award in 2011. Energy CAT originally relied on a collection of water, wind and solar power, but following power shortages it began to receive power from the national grid. Shortly afterwards, in 2004, a large new wind turbine was built using funds generated by selling shares in the project to the community, Bro DYFI Community Renewables. From 2009 September onwards CAT operates a microgrid system which includes elements of on and off grid operation. CAT gets its water from an existing man made reservoir in the slate quarry on which it is based and processes its own sewage in its reedbeds. Regional impact The presence of the center in the DYFI Valley has brought an increased environmental emphasis to the area, which is now designated as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. In the nearest town, Mackinlith, Cat PLC formerly operated a whole food vegetarian café and a separate shop. Following the closure of Cat PLC, the Cat charity retained ownership of the vegetarian café but subsequently sold it to its workers. The café is now run as a private enterprise but continues to operate as a vegetarian café. The whole food shop was closed, as the building was not owned by CAT, however, a new whole food shop DYFI Whole Foods was opened by the staff who were made redundant. An industrial estate the DYFI Eco Park near Mackinlith Railway Station houses the offices of Doulas Limited, a renewable energy company started by ex-CAT employees. See also Center for Appropriate Rural Technology Diggers and Dreamers <laughs>